Nasim Chahan, I'm with Goldfields Limited, which is a coal mining company. It's based in South Africa with operations in Ghana, Australia, Peru, and South Africa. And I look after, I head up sustainable, sustainable development or sustainability for the group, um, uh, providing a support strategy guidance to the different operations in those countries that we operate in. Well, the opportunity to be in a forum with uh, interested parties from different backgrounds focused on issues of common interest, which is ASN dialogue. And uh, it's particularly exciting that a topic like this is being addressed while the gold price is not um, on the run when tensions are high and reactive approaches are being applied to address the issue. So while the gold price is down, the issues are a bit muted on ASM, so which allows us opportunity to take a slightly different approach in terms of how we address the opportunities as well as the risks around ASM to large-scale mining operations and to work and use the opportunity and space to work with people in the space which uh, uh, can be done with a greater impact than when you are chasing a target to address a, a crisis. Given that it's a multi-stakeholder dialogue in environment, um, you have the opportunity to understand fairly in detail how the other actors or the other players uh, actually work uh, in, in this space, um, especially from intergovernmental forums, the NGOs, the academia, and, uh, and I think that, that understanding through this process understands the space that we should be occupying rather than the uh, space that we are forced to occupy when there's a crisis. I think the ability to be able to express one's views personally rather than uh, the mandate that one is given uh, for a common objective. Um, and I think uh, that that has been working pretty well here, both in session and outs outside of sessions. People are free to share information and, and engage in a common objective on how to get the best societal impact out of the ASN channel. certainly wasn't uh, top of mind on which of the priority issues were because I don't think they had a, we had applied our minds in, in, a, in a setting like this to be able to understand the full suite of issues. But certainly for me, uh, the issues um, go the government uh, engagement was pretty crucial. That's the societal impact and society uh, votes these governments in to be able to look at the interest of the broader society. Uh, and in the countries that we work, the major issues are around poverty alleviation. They are around unemployment and inequality. So uh, uh, whilst we may not get the full leadership and proactiveness out of government, uh, they play, play a pretty key role. And um, the issue around formalization of ASM uh, was something that I would have expected to have been um, pretty high on the agenda. Uh, I think uh, may not be the broad views of uh, the other stakeholders, uh, but I think the formalization is not an end. Uh, it's, it's more means to an end. And uh, different countries and different regions operate in different levels of maturity, dynamics, culture, so that none of them will be identical, will be the same. So. Mm. I what would come up pretty strongly for me is the ability to organize ASM uh, pretty innovatively as they did in Mongolia and possibly in other areas like Ethiopia, uh, is how we get a collective voice out of, uh, in some instances, a very fragmented uh, uh, base of ASM. So one can more meaningfully engage if there is a collective and, uh, and there's greater transparency. Uh, and benefit uh, to the communities.